let's say I'm not getting paid for this. Nobody's ever paid me that I know of for doing this stuff yet. I'd like some. Uh, I was at the Travis Perkins getting some more sand and cement, and there was a lady in there uh, extolling the virtues of T-Rex and how much stickier it is. So I, I like the thought of it, and it was two for one. So I bought the two you know, biggest rolls for five pounds 75, and she gave me two packs of these, this stuff. This is, this is a handy size. Two packs of those and a pen. So I was going to put it on the tripod here because this is falling apart. And I, think I don't really need strong tape. So I just had some good old 3M, which probably back in the day was the stuff. So here we are back at this um, pathway job. Now, I'm using this stick to keep my grade. Or maybe level. I don't want it less than that. No, it's right up. You know, everything is not perfect job, but that's that. So in a minute, I'm going to take the grinder and grind some more of that off, clean that hole up in there, and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it. that's a that's a hole there. I'm, not yet, maybe. Maybe I'm here. I got to. I might as well do something while I'm here doing it okay so then I'm just working my way from the old grade along this way pushing it up there and then that'll up to that blue stake and that'll be enough for today get to that because I'm running out of space on my uh, uh, what you call it gazebo oh I was wondering I was looking at that hole there I thought where the hell is that coming from so they've got holes that drip right on you inside the tent drip holes and that looks like it would drip right on the work so that's what we're gonna do oh now what I'll do is I'm just gonna show you a little bit of digging that's what I was gonna do I'll put this on the tripod and um, I really don't like doing this stuff without having my my headphones on and listening to some music so this won't be a long demonstration with my Conti cup these things are these things are great I highly recommend them these you guys shop around this is 10 pounds as, uh, as did the other day I saw some in the, one of those fancy stores over the weekend that had a, a different a different top on it and they wanted 30 pounds 30 pounds for one of those so gloves is nice and I don't like shifting stuff more than one time so as I'm taking it up I'm putting it into buckets and then I'm taking two loads of buckets around. And then being an old get like I am, I'm really only doing, if it's solid dirt, I'm only doing a half a bucket. Because it's treacherous walking back there where I'm at. So I don't need the uh, extra stuff. So a couple of things, you know, I can use in the brush. That's good to get this stuff off. And I'm going to hit it with a little bit of water when I get done here in a minute. So anything you want. I could take this thing here. And we're actually just just getting rid of the excess at the moment so let's get rid of some of that see now it's, it's right there at the edge so that's got to come, come down and I'm just taking I don't want to go too deep and disturb the uh, compaction underneath I don't want to have to go deep and fill it in I, well I won't be filling it in but, so it would seem like, where's that little pointy trowel? Oh, I had a little pointy trowel. Anyway, it's it's not very good for getting these. You think it'd be good for that? I think it's too weak. It feels too flimsy. So I'm just working those edges. Fifty mil is not deep, see? They can take it and drag it this way. Got roots in there. Dragging it up this way. Take this guy. Give it some of that action. And I'm trying to keep this edge nice and straight. Let's see how deep it is. Come back to the stick. See, I want that stick basically below the turf almost. But definitely not much higher than the turf. So, see, now here again, it's time to shift some dirt. Uh, 
Okay, well, see, that's... Oh, one other thing I did, I take, I took the saws off, and I cut the, cut the turf. If you do it, just use the end of the blade. Don't get it up close to the end, or the stuff will get in there. And then I did a couple of cuts this way. And if I find any roots or anything, I'll cut them with this. So, time to take the buckets away, put my headphones back on, and listen to some bluegrass again, I guess, this afternoon. Uh, Washington, D.C. Great, great channel, Bluegrass Station.